What's good everyone? Looks like the summer campaign has dropped in terms of like the information itself. Now the celebration with the banners being released for Super Vegeta is still pending, but uh, we at least do have a heads up on you know the overall campaign. So as you can see, I haven't checked out the information at all just yet. So this is the first time I'm actually looking at it. So it'll be you know on the spot translations, but uh, let's see how exciting. Tanabata was extremely exciting uh, for JP this time around. I thought it was uh, well executed. So this might be a filler gap between the worldwide celebration, but. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. We do have like uh, another extreme uh, Z Awakening for an LR like legendary campaign coming up, so we'll find out. Uh, we do also have the Fighting Legend Vegeta edition as well as a Prime Battle uh, brand new LR, which is the uh, Kip Gohan. So uh, let's see. Looks like LR Majin Vegeta is actually getting the EZA next. It looks like we'll find out more, you know, with the visuals in here. But that's what I saw just a second ago. Uh, login bonuses, not really concerned with. I'll translate all the, um, you know, campaign missions at the second half of the video. We've got the uh, Dokkan Fest, so it's going live um, literally tomorrow, like tonight at like tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. So, you know, basically less than 24 hours at this point. But um, it is a brand new category. It's either, you know, translation wise, acquired evolution or mastered evolution, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's see, so good Dragonstone sales, I better take advantage of some of the sales right now, but uh, before it goes away and resets, but here it is, the uh, Fighting Legend Vegeta Edition. Uh, there are various types similar to the previous version, but um, you know, whatnot, you know, you, you can kind of find out as you kind of pace yourself going through the other uh, battles and, and working out the kinks of it. Uh, you do have a dedicated ticket banner available from the tickets you can get from, you know, clearing the uh, the stage based on like certain categories or whatnot, uh, you know, in, in, in similar fashion to the prior versions. There is a new support memory from the uh, story event coming out for this one as well. Uh, these are just returning events because of the uh, the nature of the, the campaign itself. Uh, looks like there's a new stage for the Android Cell Saga Extreme Z area uh, based on what I see here. So. I'm not sure which one in particular is getting the easy A at this point, but uh, uh, I'm trying to remember like all the news that uh, dropped. I guess it's related to like the um, um, Super Saiyan Goku that uh, came back from that one planet with the uh, instant transmission. I don't know if that's the one for this particular stage that it's indicating or not, but anyways, we'll just move on for now. So this is the Prime Battle LR uh, Kid Gohan, so it'll be the next free-to-play unit. Uh, you know, you gotta go through the 777 metal grind and, and whatnot to awaken the unit, whatever, but that's the, uh, the take on that one. We've got the 41th, 41th season of uh, Dokkan Battlefield coming back. And uh, this just this is uh, he's just coming back for the extreme Z battle stages being available. This is also going to be available every day, which is kind of like funny because it makes you wonder if there is some sort of uh, additional EZA revolving around Trunks or some sort. I didn't realize we have another three day uh, weekend special, so that's like 21 Dragonstones you can get out of that. So obviously. A very plus and you know August 7th August 9th you're getting you're getting into the mid-August standpoint where at the end of end of August you're gonna have the start of the uh, worldwide celebration so that's something to consider as well uh, it's gonna be against the second form cell uh, for explosive chain battle coming up next and then again uh, yeah so easy A's okay so is, I get this is new like five units that are getting extremes the awakenings like the peppy gal units and whatnot I don't know if, if, if uh, Pan falls into that, she shouldn't be, but <laughs> anyways, that'll be very exciting. The EZA for uh, LR Majin Vegeta, that's going to be a good one. Uh, and then obviously the uh, Extreme Z Awakening Legendary Summon. Of course, we all knew there was going to be some sort of double raids banner last year. They kind of introduced the, uh, the Peppy Gal units, I think, with the double raids, like Oceana Shenron, I think it was. But anyway, um, we're going to have a similar fashion of that too. Uh, let's see, everyday events, Dokkan events are available, uh, Extreme Z areas are returning, special events are returning, and so on. So I think that's the overall schedule. Uh, a little bit light, but um, it's kind of a filler gap between 
you know, Tanabata in the worldwide celebration. But this is very, very exciting. I'm, I'm very curious to see what they do with the LR Majin Vegeta. So that'll be, that'll be very, very good. Okay, let's go on to the uh, missions, and I'll just kind of translate them on the spot. Uh, so you can get a total of 35 Dragon Stones through missions. Uh, I guess that's not too bad considering, you know, what type of campaign. Again, this is a filler gap between like two major celebrations, so I'm not surprised in that regard. From a daily mission standpoint, you just have to clear a stage one time, two time, three times. You'll get those following items, and then for the limited, uh, clear a story event once. Um, you'll get, uh, you know, that item or rewards. You'll clear a story event three times. You'll get two of the gravity chamber items. Uh, clear a story event five times. You'll get some awakening medals. Uh, clear a story event seven times, ten times. You'll get those items. Clear a Dokkan event once, three times, five times, and seven times. You'll get those set of rewards. Uh, clear Extreme Z battle once. Three times, five times, seven times, you'll get those rewards. Um, uh, clear five times without using a support item. Uh, use a support memory one time and clear. Uh, consume at least 100, 300, 500, 700 ACT. You'll get uh, you know set of dragon stones and whatnot. Uh, complete 10 of the above mentioned uh, missions, you'll get, <clears throat> again, three more Dragon Stones from that. And if you complete all summer campaign missions, you'll get an Elder Kai uh, card out of that. So, I think that's pretty much all I need to cover. I am, again, extremely excited about LR Majin Vegeta, see what kind of upgrades his uh, skill sets would have. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But um, a good little session for the campaign, I think, you know, uh, look... The Worldwide Celebration is not that far from now. I mean, it's literally gonna start in like a month in terms of like, I mean, the countdown period for that is actually gonna be starting already. I think it's probably gonna start around the 21st or 22nd and like the end of August, I think is when the celebration actually starts. So we're right around the quarter with that. So, you know, I'm gonna be summoning for Super Vegeta because I want that optimal Pure Saiyans lead because there are a bunch of categories I wanna run with that, but you know, keep that in mind. Worldwide celebrations around the corner before you summon. You know, just keep that in mind. They are going to introduce some very broken units during that celebration because they always tend to do so. So, just be mindful of that if you're a little bit light on the resources of being able to, you know, find the stones to, you know, summon for the worldwide. Make sure to keep that in mind. That's the only thing I wanted to mention uh, as as kind of like the last call. So. With that being said, I guess we can just go ahead and close out here. Um, I have nothing else. So, with that being said. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you found it helpful.